Telco Vought, an established leader in the field of electronics and aerospace, with offices spanning the globe. To govern its destiny in developing superior military and commercial products, LTV relies on three essential ingredients, people, facilities, and a strong management team. From left to right, Mr. Bart Clark, Mr. Paul Fair, Mr. James Ling, Chairman of the Board, and Mr. Clyde Skeen. This effective blend of men and materials has now produced a most remarkable airplane. An airplane with unlimited military and commercial adaptability. This is the story of the airplane. The story of the XC-142A. A runway in Grand Prairie, Texas. The home of LTV Vought Aeronautics Division. An unusual sound fills the air as a strange-looking shape lifts slowly off the ground. It hovers, remaining stationary over its point of takeoff, then begins to move forward as its wing gradually tilts to a horizontal position. In an ascending path, it climbs into the sky. This flight pattern, this vertical lift with a complete conversion to normal forward flight, has never before been so successfully achieved. It represents a unique aeronautical capability, V-Stole. The V is for vertical flight, up and down. Stole is for short takeoffs and landings. Combined, V-Stole means vertical as well as short takeoffs and landings, a phrase growing in importance throughout the world today. The XC-142A is the culmination of over two decades of VSOL research and development. The far-sighted United States Congress over the past 14 years, approved by a succession of presidents, has appropriated about $400 million for VSOL research under the guidance and direction of the Department of Defense. But to date, the XC-142A is the largest and only truly load-carrying aircraft of its type to be ordered by our government for full operational evaluation. Funded on a tri-service basis by the Air Force, Army, and Navy, the project is headed by Dr. Walt Hess. The cooperation of the three services with each other, with LTV and its associates, Hiller Aircraft and Orion Aeronautical Company, is an example of excellent industry-government relations to the benefit of the American taxpayer from Apple Valley, California, to Eagle Lake, Maine. Behind the XC-142A's success is corporate leadership and imagination and the efforts of a strong engineering team. Sharing specialized technologies, this team has successfully developed some of the most unique systems of modern aircraft. Systems dealing with thrust, stability, control in hover, and most importantly, systems to accomplish the difficult conversion on a fail-safe basis. All have overcome previous obstacles to the startling new mode of flight. Consider now the characteristics that make this aircraft unique in terms of appearance, performance, and flight safety. The XC-142A has a length of 58 feet, a height of 26 feet, and a wingspan of 67 and a half feet. It has approximately the same length as the DC-3, but about twice the internal volume and a far higher cruise speed, about 300 miles per hour using only two engines, with a top speed better than 430 miles per hour with all engines operating. The most unique ability of the XC-142A is vertical lift and exceedingly short takeoff, achieved through the use of its tilting wing. Here, the wing passes from zero to more than 90 degrees, responding to instant push-button control. The pilot may select any angle desired on the ground or in the air and change this angle at will for vertical, stole, or conventional flight regimes. The wing can be moved through 90 degrees in a mere 12 seconds. The ease of control and the exceptional stability in transition represent a major breakthrough by the engineering team. 
In the past, advances in V-stall aircraft have depended greatly on the development of more efficient propulsion systems. General Electric, with U.S. government participation, developed a new, highly successful T-64 engine, now being used in the XC-142A. Meeting all requirements for efficient operation in a V-stall aircraft, primarily low weight and a tremendous power capacity, the engine weighing approximately 720 pounds is a prime contributor to the success of the aircraft to date. It delivers around 3,000 horsepower, approximately the same as 10 modern high-powered automobile engines, but weighing only as much as two automobile engines. The thrust is derived from four Hamilton Standard lightweight fiberglass propellers, each 15.6 feet in diameter. At all times, the propellers immerse the wings in a stream of air, which is deflected by a system of flaps. This accounts for the aircraft's excellent control during stole operations and when converting from hover to conventional flight. Simple tilt-wing V-stole concepts without flaps result in airflow separation, buffet and loss of lift during landing conversion. Deflected slipstream concepts without a tilting wing encounter losses in turning the slipstream, which produces low hovering efficiencies. But the XC-142A, as developed by the Vaught-Hiller-Ryan team, incorporated both the tilt wing and deflected slipstream principles, thereby eliminating any wing stall problems because flow separation is avoided and lift maintained. The engines are connected to the propellers by a system of cross shafting and gearing, permitting any number of engines to drive all four propellers and the tail rotor. A system of clutches allows the pilot to shut down as many as three engines while still maintaining enough power for safe flight. As a fail-safe feature, the XC-142A, operating on only one engine, can maintain cruising flight at a speed of 200 miles per hour. Another advantage, during four-engine operation, the shaft is virtually under no load, a condition not present in helicopter operation where the shafting system is constantly under high loads. The XC-142A has already established its ability to perform normal airplane operations. In the stall configuration, the takeoff distance varies as a function of wing and flap angles and gross weight. In this case, for example, with a wing at about 30 degrees and 39,000 pounds gross weight, the aircraft uses between 120 and 140 feet of takeoff run. In other words, a quart 350 feet square is more than adequate for takeoff with a payload of around 9,000 pounds or 40 to 44 passengers. For shorter takeoff runs, the wing is moved to an angle between 50 and 60 degrees. It is in this configuration that the XC-142A has the capability of lifting a payload equal to that of three medium-sized automobiles from a court less than 50 feet in length. For landing, equally exceptional performance. With the same weight and wing angle, the airplane can be brought to rest with a ground roll of less than two airplane lengths, a requirement for a landing space no longer than three tennis courts. But perhaps the most unusual aspect of this aircraft's versatility is displayed during hover, possible at altitudes up to 6,000 feet. Excellent control and stability allow complete 360 degree turns in both directions. This offers the distinct advantage of maneuverability in tight areas. To accomplish conversion from hover to conventional flight, the XC-142A slowly lowers its wing to the horizontal position. As the wing moves forward, the airplane gains speed and rapidly accelerates into an ascending path. It is this maneuver, this particular mode of flight, that previously slowed the growth of V-stole technology. But in the XC-142A, the conversion is accomplished with unequal success, making it the first airplane to pass through conversion with high payloads. 
Such capabilities eliminate the need for long runways, elaborate prepared airstrips, or large cleared areas. It should be noted that during our flight test program, pilots representing the three services have been actively participating by flying the airplane through its entire range of operations. C-142A has diverse military capabilities. Most importantly, tactical and logistic transport of troops, equipment, and supplies within a theater of operations. The large cargo compartment coupled with the unrestricted rear ramp permits the XC-142A to carry a widely varying cargo to forward areas. 32 fully equipped troops, 24 litter patients, a 1,000-gallon rolling fluid transporter, a 105-millimeter howitzer, or a one-and-one-quarter-ton truck. Such loads can be delivered as military support or resupply in a continuous flow, day or night. Fulfilling its tri-service function, the XC-142A was designed to be modified to permit operation from Navy aircraft carriers where the aircraft can actively participate in anti-submarine warfare, supply, reconnaissance, photography, rescue, and other vital activities. Studies are currently underway at LTV to obtain and evaluate the operating and maintenance costs of the XC-142A. These studies are considering both military and civilian applications. Commercial airlines out of the United States and foreign countries have already expressed great interest in the aircraft and its downtown-to-downtown -downtown capability. In response to this interest, LTV is costing specific routes and airline operations in the United States. In addition, modifications are being explored to adapt the aircraft to scheduled airline use. One such modification a rear end elevator loading platform allows passengers to deposit their baggage without the inconvenience of long, crowded checking lines. The push button elevator platform will also handle freight, express, and mail, in some cases reducing the number of ramp agents considerably. In this commercial configuration, several seating arrangements are being reviewed. One handles 40 passengers, and another handles 44. Still another design uses a movable bulkhead with half the airplane for passenger seating and the other half for freight, cargo, and mail. A closed circuit television system is being considered to allow the first officer to communicate with his passengers at all times from a monitor in the cockpit and the passenger compartment. From a carrier's point of view, it will reduce the tremendously high airport charges of present-day operations by moving passengers more efficiently. Using a simple and relatively small landing court, the aircraft can efficiently transport passengers on a downtown to downtown basis.
The location of landing courts will vary depending on the availability within each city. But most major cities currently have wasteland sites on riverbeds, freight yards, industrial areas where landing courts can be quickly and economically constructed. In this role, the aircraft will solve the problem of center of city to center of city transportation. Typical routes for the downtowner appear to be Washington, New York, New York, Boston, Chicago, St. Louis, Oklahoma City, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Birmingham, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, Fresno, Seattle, Portland, to name only a few of a possible 300 pairs of points. The XC-142A is currently undergoing extensive tests to further expand its military and civilian usefulness. To date, five airplanes have been built for this purpose. As it progresses, the XC-142A will further contribute to the United States' leadership in aircraft development. Leadership enhanced through the inventiveness and perseverance of the management and personnel of LTV Aerospace Corporation, in cooperation with the Congress of the United States, the Tri-Services, Ryan Aeronautical Company, and Hiller Aircraft. By satisfying a military and commercial demand for such a versatile aircraft, our country will continue to lead the world in the development of practical, advanced aircraft to further man's progress in air transportation. The XC-142A passed the drawing board stage, currently being test flown. Tomorrow's new airplane, today. <laughs>